hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel and we are going to discuss or look briefly on how you can scalp gold on the lower time frames for today uh, but before we do that we are quickly going to look at uh, what has happened on the ir time frame uh, we have gold on the daily time frame on the screen and if you look at what has happened on the daily time frame you can see that the price of gold is still uh, bullish uh, we have uh, we have a low around here we have a high okay and we have a higher low hmm. then we have a higher high all right so it's still bullish so price can still it's still bullish means price can still drop to this area and bounce from there hmm. or price can continue up all right okay zooming out in as much as this low is here to be broken the buyers on the daily time frame are still in control i'm talking about uh the 1969 area 1969 area still protected the buyers are still in charge all right so last friday we had non-farm payroll us data release and the price of gold dipped dipped for about how many peeps um 249 39 100 peeps 29 200 pips 19 300 pips 29 400 pips so like 450 pips price of gold dipped by 450 pips throughout uh, the last trading day which was last friday and which happened to be the day u.s non-farm payroll data was released but for now the price of gold has retraced uh, almost 50 percent of friday's dip mm -hmm. so the bulls are still active the bears are trying so much to bring the price down so if you are selling be cautious if you are buying be cautious as well look at what happened on thursday last thursday price of gold dipped but the bulls pushed it more than half of the candles that and the stick left and look at last friday push they've pushed it to almost half for now and london session is about to open london market is about to open so be cautious that's what has happened on the daily time frame we have this uh, other block on the daily time frame around here which was tested last Friday you can see the test so as it has tested it the next time it's gonna drop it might possibly break this other block okay but only time will tell if it's actually going to come down to that other block next time so let's look at what's happened on the four hour time frame uh, on the four hour time frame we can see a top and see another top as you can see what price has just done price dipped okay and for now price is retracing on the four hour time frame so we might end up seeing another top 
there's a possibility that we uh, might see another top around here for price to give us a lower low. we have a high around here we have a high around here we have a high around here then we have a low on the four hour time frame then we have lower high lower high because this high is higher than this high this high is lower than this high so it's called this high is called lower high then we have a lower low on the four hour time frame this very low around here is lower than this very low so then we now we might have a lower high on the four hour time frame for us to now establish another lower low and that will be a trend development mm -hmm. so but we this might not this might turn out not to be a lower high and might end up going back up okay for us to have triple top or it might break it for the trend for the bullish trend to continue Okay, so but let's continue to monitor what happened. That the four hour time frame. Let's go to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, you can see the the top, this top. You can see another top. But look at this very long candle. All right. So it's an institutional candle. This is where the banks, the big banks came in. And it is yet to be you know, filled. All right. So if we have a failure, if this particular area refused to go higher and price dipped, we might have a double bottom for if can do to be eventually filled okay so that's a possibility on the uh, one hour time frame but for now price is retracing drawing a trend line it's a trend line still is respected has not been tested so on the one hour time frame still bearish looking at the 30 minutes time frame you can see price since market open you can see that price has been rising price has been rising since market opened and we have like i think we have like a triangle okay that's like a triangle we monitor breakout as london market opens it's about to open so when this up is probably going to break down on the 30 minutes time frame for us to sell to scalp sell or is price going to break above this high 2024 or is it going to break below this low 2020 so we have like a 4 40 pip uh range that we'll monitor if it goes above the 2024 we'll scalp buy if it goes below the 2020 we'll scalp sell so that's what we have on the 30 minutes time frame on the 15 minutes time frame the bulls uh though the trend on the 15 minutes time frame is still bearish but the bulls have been active since markets open for the day okay so those have been active and we have a high a low but this high was not okay was tested where we have liquidity where we have double top there's a cluster of sell stops of um, there's a cluster of stop loss 
whatever we have double top and we call it it's going to be a, a, a sell stop loss sellers are selling and they are placing stop losses at this top so we call it liquidity zone and look at what happened stop loss cluster of stop loss was you know cleared around here at this point so that's called liquidity sweep or liquidity grab okay and we can see what price did after clearing the liquidity price pushed forward but for now this trend line is you know being respected as you can see the buyers are trying to push price up so but only time will tell if it's going to drop as markets as the new london market is about to open we'll monitor what will happen then let's go to the five minutes time frame you can see like a range happening around here on the five minutes time frame something may possibly a news about to you know be released we have liquidity here we have liquidity here liquidity here liquidity here so stop losses are somewhere around here stop losses here for the sellers and there are stop losses here for the buyers and so there are more stop loss stop losses here by the sellers okay so on the five minutes time frame you have to monitor a break of this zone and a break of this zone if it breaks below this zone you scalp sell if it breaks above this zone you scalp buy if it also breaks above this zone you scalp buy so for that is ranging so drawing the trend line on the five minutes time frame we have something like this And then we have something like this on the five minutes time frame. So a break of this trend line can tell you if it breaks above here, you can scalp, scalp, scalp buy. If it breaks below, around here, you can scalp sell. So the market, the London market is about to open. That's why we're having this range into the session change, this change between the Asian session and the London session. So you can see like an equilibrium on the five minutes time frame so something's about to happen wait for the breakout before you enter your scalp trade okay on the one minute time frame still range is the range bottom and this is the range top okay so just wait for a range breakout before you enter your trade okay that's that if you are yet to subscribe to the channel please go ahead and smash the subscribe button if you are like yes to like the video go ahead and smash the like button drop comment below the video ask question also smash the bell button below the video for notification when we release the next video so that you get to see it you can also visit our website www.bnfstrader.com and we have another website fxfigures.com and visit this site to learn more how to trade till i come your way tomorrow please bye for now